It's not often that we get a chance to go deep underground. In fact, the deepest that most of us probably get is when we make a journey on the London Underground. But even at its deepest, the London Underground is shallower than this cliff is high. RWM is planning to build a Geological Disposal Facility, or GDF, somewhere between 200 and about 1,000 metres deep underground. That's between three and more than 12 times the height of this cliff. The minimum depth of 200 metres is to ensure that natural processes, even future ice ages, will not expose the GDF at the surface, even in the very far future. During future ice ages, glaciers may cover large parts of the UK. These glaciers can scour away huge volumes of soil and rock. The rivers and streams that form as they melt can also erode deep channels into the rock. By building the GDF more than 200 metres below the present land surface, we can ensure it's isolated from the effects of future ice ages. So 200 metres is the minimum depth that we would consider, but what's the maximum? The practicalities of constructing and operating a GDF become more complex the deeper that we go underground because of the weight of the overlying rock. And so somewhere around a thousand metres is probably the practical limit for a facility of this type, though the exact depth would depend upon the rock conditions at the specific site.